time again. So we have been uh, collecting already some of the fruits from our own plantation. So this is a, uh, we have here probably, uh, probably um, 150 pounds of cacao pots. So they are really big, as you can see, of course, and heavy. So we are going to get this ready for the next step, which is basically cutting them open and then uh, putting them in a fermentation box for them to start getting uh, ready for the final step. When you're talking about making chocolate, and probably when you get a chocolate bar at a supermarket, you don't really see uh, the steps that are involved in this process. And this is one of those steps. Of course, uh, starts everything with the plantation outside. So as you can see, this is our own uh, plant cacao plantation from there. We have been collecting all these fruits, as you will see in the previous video. And then uh, um, it's pretty simple. Now, if you come here a little closer, so you can see here how the fruits look like. So you can see here, uh, first of all, the inconsistency in terms of coloration, in terms of size, in, term, in terms of forms as well. This is uh, one type of cacao that we have in this country, as I, like I said before. Some of the fruits might not be fully ripe. Some of the fruits might also have like blemishes, um, openings. There might be some scars on the outer part of the fruit. So this is normal. So as you might know, cacao seeds or cacao pods, they have a series of layers starting from the outer part of the fruit with the exocarp. There is the mesocarp and there is the endocarp on the inside of the fruit. And whatever happens outside is actually not as important as what is really on the inside. I'm going to open this fruit right here, so you can see. So you basically take the same tool, and then you're just gonna cut it open here. You're just gonna hit it like this, without cutting your fingers, of course, and then the fruit is ready. So you can see here. You can also see the layering I was talking about. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So what you do with each one of these fruits, so once it is open, you basically put your hand on the inside, and then you're gonna come here. So this is what is known as the fermentation box. There is a series of fermentation boxes. It could be a bucket, it could be uh, bigger than this. It could be made out of wood. It could be this size. Ideally, you have a box that has, you know, four or five different compartments where you can start here with day number one of the fermentation process, and then you can move on towards the end of the fermentation. There is a Approximately about a week should the fermentation be done for and then after that is done you continue with the steps so Like I said, you pull this out. It's pretty slimy as you can see here It's a pretty slimy type of fruit. So the seeds have a lot of a uh, mucilage that is very sticky It's pretty delicious as well. So you put them in here and this can be used for different things feeding animals I don't know uh, fermentation um, fertilization, you can make a compost about it, you can just dispose it because that is of course 100% organic and then you continue with the process here as you can see, you cut it like three or four times, you cut it open, throw that away, you put the fruits out and then put them in here and then the process continues, all right? I will get back to you with more at a given time. Thank you for watching.